Hi, in this video we reach our crop tool. Now here we have the ability to crop only the current layer or to crop the whole image. Now the way we select an area to crop, we press with our mouse, we hold and we drag this window. Then we release and we get these boxes here, we can adjust that window. Now we, if you want to commit to a crop, you hit enter or you hit in the middle of that highlighted area. Now the current layer only, right now we have this option off which means that if I crop, I'll crop all our layers. But if I have this on and I'm let's say on this layer, I can crop on this layer without affecting the background. Now allow growing, we have this off by default which means that I cannot go outside our image boundary. But if we have this on, I can go outside and if I crop, I get this area filled with transparency. Now what expand from center means, you expand from the point that you click. You can escape a crop with your escape key. Now here we have some options that are pretty much the same with our rectangular select tool. You have this option, we have discussed them before, but quickly fixed. Again, you can work with, for example, an aspect ratio. As you see here, you have a fixed aspect ratio. You can have a fixed width, height, or size. Again, if you want this in detail, watch the first video here on uh, rectangle select tool. Uh, you can change the position. You can also change the size. So if you want some exact size, you can type it here. And uh, select your metric system in pixels, millimeters, inches. Uh, next highlight, that means that if you turn this off, you will not see this uh, dimmed area here. If this is on, you get to see the area that you're going to crop highlighted. Now here, uh, you have the ability to choose to have no guides, center lines, rule of thirds, golden sections. This is basically for your convenience. It does not affect the crop. Now what auto shrink means, let's select this area, uh, is that for example we select this area and we hit auto shrink. This will select auto shrink the indicator to this red color here. Now in order for this to work you have to have a distinctive colors. Let's try it with this layer for example. You see how it shrinks onto that color. Also you can use shrink merge and to affect um, multiple layers at the same time. You see how we shrink here and here. Basically that's it for this tool. See you in the next video.